Hey, what's up drone fam? This is Cruiser where I show you how to make professional drone videos and today I'm showing you how to do the interstellar double sky parallax look with your drone videos in Premiere Pro. Check it out. So if you've never heard of the parallax double sky interstellar effect before, pretty much back in 2014, Christopher Nolan came out with a movie called Interstellar and in that movie, there was a part where there was two landscapes kind of on top of each other and the camera was going right through it and had this super sick effect. Pretty much, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro today. But before I get into it, if you've never come across my channel before, I focus entirely on helping drone pilots like you make cinematic professional drone videos. I post videos weekly. And if you wanna be part of the drone family, make sure to go and subscribe to my channel. Okay, enough of all this, let's get into it. Now in order to create the perfect double sky effect, what you're going to want to do is get a great shot to work with. And there's a couple things that you can look for when getting this shot. Ideally, the best thing you can do is try to get a flat uniform background. Obviously that's not possible in all cases and that's alright. If you have a shot with clouds, that's fine. If the horizon is not, you know, flat and it's got bumps or mountains in it, you can totally work with that so don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do that today. And then as well, as you're getting the shot, you wanna make sure that you're descending, going forward very slowly. So you're gonna be bringing the drone forward while decreasing the altitude, going at a slow speed. That's gonna get you the ideal shot and the motion that you're looking for. So that way it looks like the skies are slowly coming in on each other. Ideally, if you're just doing this as a beginner, decrease the altitude while moving forward, try to find a flat background, and then you'll be good to go. Select your clip right here, drag it into your sequence, and you'll see it appear right there. And then the first thing we're gonna do is just click Option or Alt, depending what keyboard you have. Click on this, drag it up, boom, we got two layers right on top of each other. We're gonna go over to Effects, and then we're gonna start doing some manipulation on these clips. You're gonna click on this top one here, and for rotation, let's change this to 180 degrees, hit Enter, and then let's bring the opacity down to around this range right here, 60. That way you can see both clips on top of each other. Now what you're gonna do is bring this one up with the position tool. You're gonna move the Y axis. I kinda want the clouds in the middle, so that's fine. Select the bottom clip and then bring down the Y axis and then kinda have it match up if possible. It doesn't actually need to be matched up, but just get it to where you want it in the middle. Now that we have that, we're gonna select the top clip and then we're gonna bring the opacity up to 100 and then we're gonna click on the mask tool. You're gonna see this square up here. here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bring out these points around to the middle, between the, like the middle range of this sky region. And so bring a point there, bring another point right over here, drag it off the screen so that way it includes everything. Nice, now we got our mask on there. What we'll also want to do is now increase the feather. Just start dragging this forward and you'll see this feather region start to open up. Essentially what the feather does is it kind of blends different areas um, between the mask and other layers. You can see that this feather is starting to get where other parts of this clip are and we don't want that actually. So let's just bring this out even more and then bring this one up. And if you need to, you can bring out the, how far zoomed it is so you can continue to drag it off the screen and see where these points are. Beautiful, now let's increase this feather a little bit more. Nice. Okay, click off of that. Let's bring it to a fit. And then let's just play this, see how it looks. Wonderful, that's exactly the effect that we're going for and that we want. You can see that the sky still looks like just the normal sky, but then you got the two landscapes coming in on each other. That's exactly what we want. Now, to bring this further, we're gonna go and highlight both of these. This is kind of an extra thing that I do sometimes. Makes it easier. I'm gonna make this into a nest. It's gonna be a nested sequence. Bring it back to the beginning, and then I can make any other effects that I want to do on here. So if I wanted to rotate the whole shot a little more, and then bring the scale 
I kind of have this interesting, you know, rotating, zooming forward effect. Play around with it and do whatever you want. It makes it really nice. Um, I promised that I would show you all how to do um, the mask with mountains. And if you had a sky in the background, let me show you how you would do that. You go to this top clip where you set the mask initially, and then you click on the mask, and then you can do this thing here. You hover over the mask, and you'll see this little pen icon. Click that, and it creates a point. Now, you're gonna create a ton of these points along the area of the horizon where you're, say, it's broken up. You know, it's not a flat horizon. You might have a mountain right there, and you just bring it and match it to wherever you want it to be. And you might actually have to adjust the feather in this case. You know, with this shot, it was really easy to make the feather huge, but in a lot of cases, you might have to have a smaller feather that just helps blend it. Pretty much matches up to the uneven horizon that you have in the top frame. And then as it's zooming forward, if it becomes out of frame and say the shot starts moving outside of the mask, then you can create a keyframe right here by selecting the little clock. Keyframe, boom, it's gonna create one. And then you can go and add more and then you can adjust the mask, click another keyframe and that way the mask will stay along the horizon that you've set. A little tricky, but uh, there's other videos online that will show you how to do that. But essentially, that's how you would preserve the effect of keeping the clouds at the bottom while still getting the sky on top. Comment below if you found this video useful and make sure to go and subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn how to make professional drone videos and to be part of the drone fam. I post videos weekly. And on top of that all, I'll see you in the next video. Keep cruising.